Are you guys tired of birds and rodents eating your fruit? There's ways we can fight back. Let's talk about it. What's up everyone, it's Eugene Compton Gardner. We're here in my backyard orchard. Right behind me is my four in one persimmon tree. We have the Fuyu, Giant Fuyu, the Coffee Cake, and the Izu persimmon, all grown as one bush. Um, and that's with two trees, two plants in one hole, and then a graft onto each of them, which gives me a total of four different varieties. But today what I wanna talk about is ripening right we have this as the weather start to cool down we notice that our fruit is starting to get a little orange color right starting to ripen up but guess what so does the wildlife I'm not sure what wildlife you have in your area for me in particular my area is uh, birds sometimes raccoon but I've never noticed them to uh, tamper with the fruit they don't really worry about the fruit but the birds however They'll take little pecks out of each one if you leave them exposed. Um, instead of eating one fruit, they'll just work their way around. And what will happen is the fruit will start to get soft and sort of like um, if you were to put it into a refrigerator or freezer and then freeze it and then let it thaw out afterwards how you get that mushy feel. So that's what happened to the fruit. So uh, this is one of the ways that I like to protect them. Let me bring you in closer here so you can take a look. So this is what I've been doing, putting these individual nets around the, each fruit. What I tried before was to put the one of those big bird nets over the whole tree, the top of it, and let it drape down. But what I found was that the birds would walk on the ground here and hop up into the tree and eat the fruit that way. They were pretty determined. Um, and also what will happen is the net will get stuck on onto the, the branches. And then when you have to remove the net, it's hard to, to get it out. You wind up damaging the tree you'll notice that some of the branches are starting to go downward because of the weight. So like this for me is the best method. It can be a little time consuming depending on how many fruit you have. You can see or come around the tree. There's a lot more on the, out, on the outer uh, branches and they grew in clusters which made it a little bit difficult down at the bottom here you can see all of this whole cluster of fruit so I didn't really cover all of them this is a lot of fruit so I could share some with the birds but I want to be particularly careful with the ones the variety that did not produce a lot this year so for example this is my uh, coffee cake persimmon. I only got one fruit. So I want to make sure this one is well protected. And then also over here, my giant Fuyu. This is the first year that this one is producing fruit. And I have a total of six fruits up here. So that one's still green. You can see that big one down there starting to change color. And then there's a couple more down here. So with those nets, I'll show you on. I bought them online. And it came as a 50 pack. And they're about 12 by 18 inches, I believe. And that fits right over it. So you put the fruit right in there. And just pull this string right here. 
and that tightens up just like that you don't have to tie this around any of the fruit or the branches you just leave it like that and the birds don't really mess with it or well, they can't really get in there um, I did leave a few of them exposed for the birds but again only because I have so many now if I was only if this was my you know first season tree and my first year uh, season tree where I only had like five or six fruit I definitely want to make sure that all of them are protected but this tree's been here for a good four four years or so now three to four years I think it was and I'm getting abundance of fruit so uh, I could share a little bit but definitely don't want to give up all of my fruit so that's pretty much all I do but let me get back inside because it's getting cold out here